My name is Rhys Wilkinson. I am currently studying a PhD in astronomy. Previously, I did my four-year master's at the University of Sussex as well in theoretical physics. My work is in the Astronomy Centre at Sussex, where I work in a, a small group of six people looking at galaxy clusters. Before five months ago, I had never done any kind of astronomy. I had looked up at the stars, but I had seen the number of stars you see in a city, which is like one or two. It was Sussex that allowed me to pursue different areas. The first two years of your degree are quite fixed in what you do, because you've got to learn the basics. In my third year, I really wanted to do more maths modules because I was really enjoying it. I wanted to do cryptography and I wanted to do something called fluid dynamics. And I'm really glad that the university allowed me to do that because I wouldn't be where I am now doing an astronomy degree as a data scientist and coding monkey. One of the things astronomers have to do is take data. I was able to join a collaboration called the Dark Energy Survey. They have a camera in Chile and you spend each night staring up at a wonderful, clear, perfectly dark night sky. You get to meet uh, astronomers and researchers all throughout the world who are, who are there on the mountain with the other telescopes observing. If you had to sort of twist my arm for me to say who the best university lecturer is, it's probably Marco Picanti. And he also has an awesome lab. You can take dry ice and you can mix that with water, which causes it to evaporate immediately. And so you get this smog. And you can then use that to have a look at the beam and you can play with the beam. Not play, you don't play with lasers. On the open day, the faculty were there. You could chat to them, you could ask them about their work, you could see the student spaces. One of the only universities that give dedicated student spaces so you can go and work together. You can hang out together, you can play chess, if you're a fan of chess, and it's where I started playing chess. And then while I was at Sussex, my academic advisor, Professor Cathy Roma, suggested that it would be a good idea if I went and got diagnosed for um, Asperger's Syndrome, because she was like, you're special. It's just another part of me that Sussex is very accepting of, and it's that kind of environment that I really loved. You don't have to be a brain box to enjoy physics, you don't have to be a brain box to study physics, you just have to be interested in the way the world works. Just go for it, it's great fun, and the people that you meet will be the same kind of person as you, they'll be interested in the same things that you are.